Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tiny Tasha, or you can call me Tasha like everyone else does. How are you? I hope you're okay, because I'm great. Thanks for asking. First things first, don't know if you've noticed, a little something a little bit different about me. If you didn't say that I've now got pink hair, I'm actually concerned because it's obvious what's different. So, I dyed my hair pink today. It's actually, it's, it's come out okay. I mean, to be fair, I didn't do a very good job of it. It was a very last minute decision. If I do want to keep the pink, I will definitely do it properly next time. But I got bored and decided really last minute to dye it. And I literally scrambled around for whatever hair dye I had in my house and created this amalgamation of pink dyes and whacked it on my head. It probably wasn't a good idea, but I did it anyway. So it is semi-permanent. So who knows how long I'm going to be pink for, but I'm feeling it for now. So today, I don't know if you've noticed by obviously the name of this video, but also today I'm going to show you how I do my finger waves. Finally! I've had so many people ask me to do this video and there are so many good already on YouTube videos about how to do finger waves, but my hair really isn't long enough to do a good tutorial on it. It is quite short still and it keeps like right now it keeps moving it doesn't stay still it's it's all over the shop it's very messy it's a nightmare it's an actual nightmare so I didn't really want to do this video yet but I started to get quite a few people ask me to do it so I thought you know what I'm gonna do one now and if my hair gets longer and if I decide actually my finger waves have got so much better I'm gonna do another video then I will so I'll just basically keep you updated on how my finger wave vibe goes so i thought i'd do a really quick tutorial because this actually only takes five minutes to do so i'm just going to quickly chat you through it the things you're going to need is water you're going to need to entirely wet your head so jump in the shower or lean over the sink wet your hair you're going to need a comb some mousse and you might need some clips depending on the length of your hair i use clips just because i have little runaways um that while the mousse is where i want to set in place but that is literally all you need guys. You don't need very much. I will leave the link to the mousse I use in the description if you are interested on in using the same mousse. So I'm gonna go and wet my head and I can show you how I created this beautiful look. So as you can see, I have already wet my hair and created a part in. Make sure your hair is really wet. Then we're gonna grab some John Frieda hair mousse which we're going to use make sure you can get a hold of this stuff regularly because i go through so much of this and you're just going to get your comb and you're going to rub it all in Okay, so we're going to start with this part first because that's the part we've just moosed. Okay, so basically what you're going to do, you're going to start at the back, pull your hair forward, then push it back. And then I'm just going to quickly clean that up. Then I'm going to push it forward, push it back, clean it up, push it forwards, push it back. Clean it up, push it forwards, push it back, like that. So because my hair isn't really long enough for that to go perfectly, I just have to sort of flatten out some areas and make sure the little hairs that escape know which way they've got to go. So you should have something along those lines. I have to put some clips in sometimes at this front bit where it's just a little shorter for it to sort of stay. So I usually have to leave those in just while it dries, but the rest behaves itself pretty well. So that's good. So now that's done, we're gonna move on and repeat the process on the shorter side. I find the short side so much easier, which is why I leave it till last. Thank you. 
Okay, so once that's brushed through, we're just going to do the same again. So, forwards, then backwards. So we should have something like that. So that's the front done. I'm just gonna quickly whiz around and show you the back and then we're done. Now it's completely done, I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and yeah, we can check it out. there we have it it is a bit messy but that is obviously because my hair really isn't long enough for this yet um, so it still has a bit of a mind of its own but I'm really chuffed I think it looks really cool so this tutorial was a really super short and sweet one um, if you do decide to use my tutorial please send me pictures of your hair from using my tutorial onto my Instagram. My Instagram handle I will put here, Tiny Tasha. So make sure you send me your pictures and I cannot wait to see them. If there are any hair tutorials that you really wanna see, um, obviously once my hair grows longer, I will do an updated version of my finger waves. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it now. The button is literally there. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon.